Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cora. Thanks for dropping in. This video is part of a series that I've been doing for airplane travel friendly strollers. I was looking for a stroller that I can bring with us on our future travels on an airplane that would fit on an overhead compartment bin. And since I found a few strollers that fit that criteria, I decided to go ahead and do a video to kind of go over some of the strollers to hopefully help anybody else that's out there that's also looking for a airplane travel friendly stroller. So if you're interested in the stroller that I'll be going over, don't forget to check out my link down in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This stroller here is the Evalor Vogue stroller. There is another stroller that I was looking at that Evalor made and it's called the Voyager. That one also is very compact. It's actually more compact, laps much smaller than this stroller. But that stroller, the Voyager, didn't have the option to recline as opposed to the Vogue, which does have the option to recline. And that was something that I was looking for for a travel stroller. So this one came in three different colors. There was a gray, this is the navy, and I also believe there was a red. They all come with the fall leather, um, tan colored front bumper and the stroller handle. There is the sun visor here is extended. This extension piece doesn't move up, but it just kind of like falls over. In the back, there is a peekaboo window. I will go ahead and just do an overview so you can kind of take a look at the stroller, how it moves, and then I'll do, go ahead and do close-up shots so you can have a better look at what the stroller looks like. There's the foot activated brake system. And back here is where it reclines, obviously, to try to recline it back. There's only two reclining options, just two settings. So you would kind of squeeze this, and then right now it's at the lowest, and then you would squeeze it to push it up to go at this highest. There, here is the basket, which I'll go ahead and this one here is my Jujube BR Be Right Back the backpack. It's kind of my all day backpack that I would use. And it's actually really big. It won't fit in the under basket. I do have a smaller bag. And this one's a Jujube Mini B, much smaller. Let's see if you can fit that in there. And it does fit. I noticed the basket at the bottom, it's kind of hard to get into just because the back of the basket is straight up. It's not slanted so that you can easier have an easier access to it. But I guess it'll be a little bit more secure when you put stuff in. And I do have some stroller straps here that I would test out. I know I tested it test out the, the tipping on the other stroller that I went over. Let's see how this one does. This backpack is actually pretty heavy. Kind of like I said, it's like my all day backpack. And it's okay. Obviously there's no baby in there. My baby's sleeping, taking a nap. Um, it's okay, but it does easily tip over. Just with a little bit of a push. And that's also with the seat reclined all the way back. Let's check if it's a difference if it's... I actually like this brake system. You just kind of press down on the pedal. It's one pedal there. Press down to lock it, to unlock it. You just press the top pedal forward and it unlocks. And I've also noticed with this stroller that this actually collapses or folds much smoother and before I do that I'll go ahead and go over the measurements of the stroller unfolded. I'm just going to grab my phone for that. The measurements unfolded is 11.4 inches in length, 16.1 inches in width, and 39.8 inches in height. 
The front bumper here, it's a nice color. I do like the way it looks. It looks pretty. It looks pretty elegant to me. So this front bumper here actually is removable. There is a couple buttons on the side where the bumper is and you just kind of have to press in and it removes. The padding on this, it's it's very, it's actually kind of thin. You can feel the, the board that is behind it very easily. It's not, there's like, I don't feel like a memory foam to it, but there is some padding to it. It's just not very thick or doesn't have that memory foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over folding it and unfolding it. So again, engage the latch, press the button, and it starts folding on its own, which is actually pretty easy with one hand and it locks. Stands up on its own. And turn around, I think the bigger wheels, the six inch wheels is where you want it to kind of tilt towards that way so you can roll it around. And then to unfold it, engage the lock, press the button, and it pops open. I really like that feature, thought that was so here's the close-up of the Evalor Vogue stroller. You can see the canopy here with the extension of the sun visor. I believe this is reflective. I can pull it, push it up. And the padding on this, it's not memory foam, but there is some padding there. It doesn't feel very comfy. This one here is a, the padding on this is also a bit thinner than the other strollers I was looking at. Here is the five point harness. Just press that button to unlock this. There you go. There is this right here, the claw, and it latches up onto there. There is here is the faux leather padded handle, which is very comfy, and I really like the way that looks. And here's the adjustable footrest, which I didn't go over earlier, but this is adjustable footrest, and it locks in place going up. There's really only a few settings, which is that straight, and to engage this to change the setting, there is a latch here. You would have to pull it and it goes down. And there's only that setting at the lowest and that setting straight forward. At least this one also, that was pretty neat, is a foot rest. Those are the wheels I was talking about where it was it's transparent here. And let's go ahead and look at the back. So the back of this canopy has a peekaboo window, you can see in there, and Velcro. There's that latch and the button underneath. And here is to recline and incline the seat. You'd have to engage these two together, squeeze it together, and pull down. That's that one setting at the lowest. I believe it's at 150 degrees and then to put it back up, incline it, squeeze those two and push it up. So there's only two settings there. There's the basket underneath the stroller. Like I said, the basket here, the back piece is pretty high up so it's kind of hard to, you would really have to angle what you're putting in there to get into this small opening here. There again is the wheels where it's transparent and this is the pedal which I actually like. I actually like this pedal that is just one pedal to deal with down to lock it and to unlock it you just push it forward. Thank you for watching my video on the Evalor Vogue stroller. I hope this was helpful and informational for you. Remember if you are interested in this stroller please check out my link below in the description box and if you do have questions about this stroller 
please leave me a comment in the comments section below and I'll get back to you hopefully with a great answer that will help you out. Otherwise, you guys all have a great day and take care. Bye.